Riverdale Elementary families. Uh, now that I shared some updates regarding our, our district level plans as well as changes to our calendar, I wanted to share a few uh, specific changes here at the elementary school or some information you need to be aware of. Uh, so first, our, our preschool teachers will be reaching out to our preschool families uh, and starting on February 16th when we have students back four days a week, we're actually going to have our, our preschool families pick out pick up students out back of our elementary school. That would be any of our preschool students as well as their siblings. That will move about 15 cars to, to the back of our building, um, but again, our, our preschool teachers will be reaching out about what that might look like. What we're trying to do is eliminate uh, having so many cars between the elementary school and the high school. Although the, the plans may change and we have a few contingency plans in place, for right now, uh, that pickup plan is going to be similar uh, on the 16th as to what we're doing currently. Uh, you know, typically between uh, 225 and 235. Uh, we have a kind of a long row of cars uh, that line up. We call those cars out. And, and what I'm hoping for is any of those uh, individuals who arrive maybe between 235 and, and 245 to, to slide back a few minutes uh, to hopefully almost have two waves of cars picking up students. Uh, certainly some of the families have reached out about the potential of getting onto a school bus route for second semester or starting on the 16th. You're certainly able to do that. Uh, please just indicate that to your classroom teacher and call the transportation department to get a route set up if that's the, the mode of transportation you prefer. I had reached out previously uh, to our families about the potential of having students uh, move classrooms or have new teachers for uh, second semester or when we return to uh, more uh, full in-person instruction, excuse me. Um, we've been very fortunate that, that by and large I've had, had to make very little changes here at the elementary school. All of our e-learners may remain 100% remote uh, as of the 16th and they'll still have the same classroom teacher. The one area where we have made a shift is in fifth grade. We are going to have a fourth section of fifth grade for the remainder of the school year. Uh, today we welcome Miss Lauren French, a, a recent college graduate from Augustana College, uh, you know, to our team. Uh, this week she's observing and sitting in on, on fifth grade classes and, and she'll be doing so uh, next week as well. Uh, but as she, she's uh, integrating into fifth grade, she's ultimately going to take on the fourth section. So we will be moving students around within fifth grade uh, and, and those teachers are meeting to figure out the best plan to make sure we're supporting our students academically. This is going to allow us to social distance better. Uh, you know, we're going to go from 26, 27 students to maybe between 18 and 20 uh, by having that fourth section. So social distance as well as have a uh, better teacher to student ratio to serve them academically as well. So that's exciting for us, uh, but a change. Luckily, fifth grade is departmentalized, so those students do see the majority of the teachers every single day and they'll continue to do so. Otherwise, um, as far as second set semester is concerned, currently we're, we're benchmark testing our students uh, this week as well as next week uh, to see where they are uh, academically in reading. Uh, you know, we've looked at some math assessments as well. So we're encouraged by some of that data, uh, but we're going to keep a close eye on that. Uh, we're going to have Valentine's uh, activities coming up. Um, we're still going to do it for those hybrid students as we approach Valentine's Day, and classroom teachers are sending out information on that. Um, just know that we are allowing any family that chooses to opt out, um, you know, due to you know concerns regarding coronavirus or some of the safety procedures, we're going to give them an opportunity to do so. Um, you know, and, and otherwise, like I said, uh, we're in a number of uh, we're in, engaging in a number of plans for second semester, and we're hopeful uh, that there's going to be some more opportunities in, in music and PE, uh, welcoming families to our building, uh, you know, as well as some, you know, whether it's, uh, you know, field day or special days, you know, towards the end of the school year uh, that we'll be able to implement later on in the semester. So it's a little bit too early to tell at this time, uh, but we're excited about what the potential may, may bring. So uh, the last thing I want to leave you guys with is, uh, you know, certainly once we bring all of our students back on the 16th or any of our in-person learners, we will have to reduce our, our social distancing within the building uh, in order to accommodate that many more students. So with that being said, you know, there may be some more students that do need to go into quarantine and I'd have plans in place for all families that at some point that, that this may impact your student. It may happen even more than once. You know, we're, we're hopeful that that'll not be the case, uh, but that's a reality of having more students in our building. 
you know, with that being said, our, our numbers here at the elementary school, as well as regionally, continue to move in a very positive direction regarding uh, the coronavirus pandemic. You know, and ultimately the hope is even though there may be a quarantine for, for my children or your children or, you know, uh, along the way, uh, that ultimately those four days of in-person instruction will, will be well worth it. Uh, and we're excited for, for what that might bring for us here at the elementary school. So obviously a lot more updates to share with you guys. This is a lot of information here today. Uh, but, you know, we want I want to do my best to make sure you're informed. Please reach out to me if you have any questions, concerns, needs, uh, and I'll do my best to address those. And, and please look uh, for, for future communications as we move forward. Take care, guys.